Good morning everyone. My name is Meghla, Assistant Professor, Department of BCA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. Today we are going to discuss about computer network. In that computer network, we are going to detail the analysis of uh, data link layer. Data link layer is the uh, top model. Uh, it is one of the OSI model. Uh, this layer is a fourth layer from the top and second layer from the bottom. The main responsibility of the data link layer is to transfer the data gram across an individual link. The data link layer protocol defines the format of the packet exchanged across the nodes as well as the actions such as error reduction, retransmission, flow control and random access. The data link layer protocols are Ethernet, Token Ring, FDTA and PPP. So these are the data link layer protocols. And uh, next, services of data link layer. Uh, there are uh, many services are there. First one, framing and link access. Second one, reliable delivery. Third one, flow control. Fourth one, error deduction. Fifth one, error correction. And sixth one is half duplex and full duplex. So this is the uh, explanation of uh, error detection and correction. There are many reasons of uh, error detection and uh, corrections such as noise, crosstalk, etc. So there are three types of errors are there. First one is single bit error. Single bit error means uh, there are lot of uh, numbers are there, zeros and ones. Uh, here, uh, zero, but uh, receive message is shows one. So this is the example of single bit error. In multiple bit errors, uh, um, this is not, uh, this is nothing but uh, more than one uh, letters or numbers are corrupted. So this is the example for multiple bit errors and burst error means more than one consecutive bits. So this is Ingyavadhund. Uh, uh, this is the example for continuous burst errors. Next, data link protocols. Protocols in the data link layer are designed so that this layer can perform its basic functions, framing, error control, and flow control and these uh, data link uh, protocols have two types first one is noiseless channel and second one is noisy channel in that noiseless channel we have two subtitles simplex stop and wait and noisy channel stop and wait go back and selective repeat our next uh, topic is Sliding window protocol. Sliding window protocol, excuse me, uh, in that sliding window protocol, there are uh, two, uh, uh, two variations are there. First one sending window and the second one receiving window. In that sending window, a uh, set of uh, uh, values are there. Uh, we are going to send that uh, values to the receiver, to the server. The server window receives the values. 0 1 2 3 so this is the this is called frame uh, it has many frames it will send one by one use this color palette when you want to blend a nature infused hues that highlight the compatibility of the greens and the health giving properties of these delicious subtitle and noising hues And next one is MAC, functions of MAC layer. Um, MAC layer is one of the data link layer or the sub layer. It provides an abstraction of the physical layer to the LLC and upper layer of the OSI network. It is responsible for encapsulating frames so that they are suitable for transmission via the physical medium. It resolves the addressing of source station as well as the destination station or groups of destination stations. 
so this is the explanation of uh, mac layer thank you